Is one of your goals this year to streamline your business operations for more efficiency? If you are an entrepreneur, a business owner, or a freelancer, you likely have many apps and tools that you use to run your business on a day-to-day -day basis. And here's where digital minimalism can help you eliminate all sorts of distractions, clutter, and inefficiencies so you have more time freedom. I mean, isn't that exactly why you started your business in the first place, is to have more free time? In this video number four of five in this series on digital minimalism, I'll be sharing why I'm embracing digital minimalism as a business owner, and I'm gonna share my frameworks that I use to declutter my digital life and my business. Hey my friends, I'm Sherry Borsheim and welcome to the Simply Productive channel where I help you organize and simplify your business and your life to enjoy more time freedom and less stress. I've always been someone who's constantly on the go. I'm managing not just one, but two businesses. I have an on-site business and I have my online organizing business. I also coach clients online and I have online training programs. Juggling a multitude of tasks and responsibilities became the norm for me, but it also led to feelings of overwhelm and multiple burnouts. I've experienced many sleepless nights due to too many things that I had going all at once. And that constant scrolling on my phone was sucking up my time. It was a way of avoiding work and sometimes tedious tasks that were too manual. And that's where I assess my systems and I look at what's working, what's not working, and what I wanna do is I really wanna streamline the systems that are taking too long and are not working. By embracing this philosophy of digital minimalism, I've developed some frameworks and systems in my business and I was able to transform so many areas of my business and my life that I never believed were possible. Let me share with you the top four benefits I've experienced along this journey. The first benefit is I gained peace of mind. I no longer receive constant notifications or distractions that pull me away from being present in the moment. I now have the mental clarity to focus on the essential tasks that I need to achieve my goals and truly enjoy life's simple little pleasures. The second benefit was my productivity soared because I was really clear on what I wanted to organize in my digital systems. I'm able to tackle tasks more efficiently and effectively. I no longer waste time searching for files and getting lost in the sea of tabs. Everything I need is right at my fingertips. And we dive into this in another video on how to organize your bookmarks. The third benefit of digital minimalism has given my business a lot more structure. I've developed some systems and some processes that streamline my workflows and eliminate unnecessary tasks allowing my team and I to work smarter, not harder. The fourth benefit, and probably the most important, is I become more present in my day-to-day -day life. Instead of being tethered to my devices and always scrolling on my phone, I now have the freedom to disconnect and not feel guilty about it. Whether it's spending quality time with my husband, friends, or family, I'm very intentional on how I use my phone and when I use it and making sure all those notifications are turned off. I'm now proactive instead of reactive and living life in my own terms and not letting my digital devices distract me and grab my attention. Now let me share with you my digital minimalism frameworks that I now have in my business and I'm more efficient and productive and I literally have a lot less stress in my life. Framework number one is to audit and declutter. This is where you wanna start auditing your digital devices and all of your online accounts. You wanna delete and archive anything that is unnecessary, all of the non-essentials that you're no longer using and actually bring you joy in using them. I have certain apps and tools that I use that I really enjoy using them because they simplify my life and I've really learned how to maximize the apps and leverage them to my advantage. Or if I scan the receipt when I come out from the store and I do it in my car, it saves me time and I don't have to sit in front of my laptop and be at my desk to do that. I'm sort of doing things in the moment. Framework number two is set boundaries around your digital devices. When you're gonna check your email, 
whether you're going to turn off your notifications while you're doing your deep work, and when you're gonna turn off your devices at night. For me, I don't check email first thing in the morning, and I don't check social media, and I like to have my phone turned off, or if I'm on my laptop, I like to turn that all off by eight. So designate specific times for checking emails, your social media, and other online activities that you do. I know this is not an easy one, but practicing self-discipline in an age of constant media bombardment will do you nothing but good. Framework number three, is simplify and leverage your tools. Identify the essential apps and tools that you need to do your deep work, get your projects done, and day-to-day -day tasks in the easiest form possible. Look at what systems are sucking up your time. Do you want to optimize, streamline, and automate as many business systems as you possibly can? Do some research or ask someone who's already doing what you would like to be doing. That's what I did with my bookkeeping processes. I knew there had to be a better way, and now is the time for me to streamline that and make that a top priority because I know the time that I invest now is going to save me time tomorrow and months down the road. Framework number four is practice mindful consumption. Be mindful of the content that you are consuming. Limit your exposure to negative news, social media feeds that don't add value to your life. Declutter your follow list and add new accounts that make you feel inspired and more aligned with your goals. Framework number five is to disconnect regularly. Do you ever find when you go on your phone or computer, you think of another tab that you want to open or another idea comes and so you go and do some research and I'm scrolling mindlessly on social media. That's why I like to have a balance of some analog systems. Pen to paper keeps me more focused and I'm less distracted when I'm on my digital devices. Sometimes I just want to go sit in a coffee shop and I don't want to be on a laptop. Or I may take a drive in my car and go sit by the ocean. And that's where I really love to be creative. I'm surrounded by nature and I love the pen to paper process. Also brainstorming on a whiteboard or a big flip chart can also be another analog system for when you're planning out your projects, a goal that you want to achieve, or a system that you want to implement in your business. Another analog strategy is to just pick up the phone and make a call. I love the human connection and I'll just pick up the phone and give my friends or my family a call instead of sending random texts with a whole bunch of emojis. It's a different feeling and connection. Framework number six is to focus on how you're using your technology. Be clear on your business objectives and eliminate any digital apps and tools that you rarely use. What you want to do is minimize the amount of places that you need to look and search and do your work. We use Asana for all of our project management and it's one place I can do a quick search and find what is the next YouTube video that I need to film. Centralizing our projects in one hub has completely simplified my life. It's increased my creative time and it's easier to get tasks done. I can quickly plan my week during my weekly review process. I can go to Asana, check my tasks, schedule them in my Google Calendar, or if I'm going analog, I can just write them out in here and it just helps me to process where I'm overbooked and overscheduled and I can just see it at a bigger picture and see what I need to eliminate from my calendar. The weekly review process really is a game changer and helps me to get my big goals accomplished during the week and to keep my weekends free. Framework number seven is creative thinking time. This was an unexpected bonus of practicing digital minimalism. I found that I was more innovative and I was able to solve problems proactively instead of reactively. And the result is a healthier work environment, more innovation, more creativity, and what we're all looking for is more time freedom. I hope these benefits and frameworks inspire you to take your digital minimalism to a whole nother level. If you already practice digital minimalism, I would love to hear your tips. Post your comments below. I'm always learning. Would love to hear what's working for you. In the next video to this digital minimalism series, I'll be sharing how to set up a productive workspace for digital minimalism. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.